Malaysian military says that over 250 suspected militants and at least 35 soldiers have been killed in its Sinai 2018 operation. Pakistan's 21-member cabinet was sworn in today, a day after Prime Minister Imran Khan pledged to cut government spending in corruption and repatriate public funds. President Mamnoon Hussain administered the oath of office to 16 federal ministers in Islamabad. Separately, Khan has also appointed five advisers to his cabinet. Khan, whose populist party won most parliament seats in the July 25th elections, that fell short of a majority, forcing it to form a coalition, took the oath of office on Saturday as Pakistan's 22nd premier. Members of the cabinet, with Pakistan's new prime minister Imran Khan, took their oaths in Islamabad on Monday, August the 20th. Shots were fired at a security booth outside the U.S. Embassy in Turkey's capital early today, but U.S. officials said no one was hurt. Private U.S. news agency said 40... Last Friday, Barcelona commemorated their first anniversary of a militant assault in which a young man drove a van down a busy central boulevard, killing 14 and injuring over 100 in Spain's worst attack in more than a decade. Malaysia is hunting for an industrial device containing radioactive material that is reported to have gone missing from a pickup truck on August the 10th. Police and media said today that authorities fear the device, which contains an unknown amount of radioactive iridium, could cause radiation exposure or be used as a weapon by militants. The 23 kilogram, 51 pound device used in industrial radiography went missing on a journey to Shah Alam in the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur, the capital, from the town of Saramban, about 60 kilometres away. Media said that two employees of the firm that owned the missing equipment were arrested but later released because of insufficient evidence. The United Nations Atomic Agency has warned that any loss or theft of radioactive material could put it in the hands of militants who might try to build a crude nuclear device or so-called dirty bomb. That was the news from Radio Sultanate of Oman. The headlines once again. The Ministry of Tourism plans to organise a number of activities during the Eid al Adha days to activate the domestic tourism movement in the Sultanate. Around two million Muslim pilgrims from around the world gather at Mount Arafat for the peak of Hajj. An Egyptian army officer is killed in a Sinai roadside blast. Pakistan's 21-member cabinet is sworn in. And radioactive material is reported missing in Malaysia. With that, we conclude the news. From all of us here at the News Centre, thank you and goodbye.